uh, he is a gambler, as, as many was. I mean, even in trading, there was a barter system that went on, which is always a bit of gamble inherent in bartering, but, but he has a penchant for playing cards and, and an even more worrying penchant for losing our playing cards. And uh, Balka acquires a substantial debt uh, at the start of the film, or his debt gets to a place where it is substantial, and uh, he knows under the under the uh, code of rule that the Urki live under that he is uh, he's in serious trouble. He also commits a, a very violent act in the opening scene, which is uh, not making things any easier for him. So he he sees that he's a he's in a corner, and the only way to get out of this corner, because the corner is literally uh, perimetered by barbed wire and towers and the only way to get out of the corner is to to break through the barbed wire usually the most of the escapes that took place i was told took place in the first week or the first couple of weeks first fortnight uh that the prisoners were inside because after that they just got used to they got ingratiated into the system and and they found value in a, an extra piece of bread or a cigarette and and uh, before they knew it they had given up and that was their lot so initially the hope ebbed away from, from newcomers fairly fast, but that's, that's where most of the uh, attempted escapes took place within the newcomers. And Valka, as I said, puts two and two together and, and uh, yeah, says to Janusz, you know, you're taking me. Um, he has a wolf, that is, he has a, a wolf, he has a, a knife that he calls the wolf, and that is, uh, that is what he brings to the table. That is how he represents his status with, uh, with Janusz. People inherently, as a human race, inevitably we, we need to rely on each other. Uh, sometimes it takes the most extreme of situations for that truth to be revealed. And it certainly is for all the characters. Uh, my fellow in particular, Valka, has never really relied on anybody but himself, I don't think. And he finds himself in something of a, of a quandary um, that he is reliant on, on these other people, people whose paths he would never have crossed in his normal life, or his, his everyday life outside of the Gulag system or within the Gulag system. Peter's faster than us all. He's faster than us all. He's first up out of his seat by the monitor to go into the actors or to go into Lorenzo or, or Russell or whoever. Um, he may feel he needs to impart something uh, based on what he's seen and he's just, he's really phenomenal. He's really phenomenal. I mean, he's obviously incredibly smart, incredibly decent, decent man. But it is his excitement and his love of the story. And I remember in the beginning when we were doing the Gulag stuff, we started off the shoot doing exterior Gulag and did that for about 10 days or so. And uh, we had one shot where there was 100 extras marching out to do the day's labor. And I remember him with the Bulgarian translator talking to the extras about uh, how important it was and what a, uh, not only an honor, but a responsibility it was to do as, as best as they could. And of course he was talking to us as well, or I assumed he was. He was talking to everyone that was, that was gonna be part of this film really. That it is, without getting high and mighty about it, it is an obligation and it is a responsibility because you're talking about a very dark time in history. You're talking about hundreds of thousands, millions of lives that were ruined. Because inherently the story is about six or seven people trekking you get your scenes and then you have three or four days when you're in the background doing nothing and then you get your moment and and everyone's just been all over it really they, there seems to be an incredible understanding that each actor has of their characters and and uh i mean valk is kind of very much on the outside of it um a lot you know he's, he's very much he never he never really infiltrates or penetrates uh into the the core of the group um but I'd love to work. I would have liked to work. It's mad. I would have liked to work more with them all. You know, I mean, we don't have that many scenes with them, whether it's with any of them, with Ed or Jim. More with Jim than anyone, because Valka aligns himself with with uh, Jim's character, um, and actually gives Jim's character the title of Pachan. Valka's the one that uh, whose attention is kind of pulled to the truth that there is some innate leadership quality in this man and although he's a much more pacifistic Pakan than Valka has ever met, uh, he's a Pakan nonetheless.